Hi all, my name is Guy Grieve and I am the Senior Channel Sales Engineer for LogPoint across EMEA. And today I'm going to be talking about LogPoint's UEBA solution and how it can help aid your business, what value UEBA brings to an organization, and how it can extend the power of your LogPoint SIM solution. I'll also take this opportunity as well to jump into a high level demonstration of the UEBA solution that LogPoint offers. So the first thing to look at is the threat landscape. What is happening out there? Now, according to the source horizon, there is a fundamental gap between breaches taking minutes to be activated versus breaches taking months to be detected. We can also see that internal threats are a high percentage in the threat landscape and internal visibility is becoming increasingly critical to organizations to truly have an understanding of what is happening within their organization and with their network. And who responds to this? What we are witnessing as well at this current time is a global shortage of cybersecurity professionals. This is making it increasingly more difficult to obtain and retain skilled talent. With statistics as shown, we need to prepare for the lack of man hours and lean IT teams. We need some form of automation. Essentially, a virtual analyst that is inexpensive to train, inexpensive to maintain, and easy to retain. We need UEBA. Attacks are becoming increasingly sophisticated. Smash and grab tactics have long been replaced by low and slow attacks. Notably, Lockheed Martin's uh, cyber kill chain defined the stages of an attack, which start with the recon, which can go on for months now. With UEBA, we can recognize patterns and anomalies in which conventional static rules may not detect. A user logs on at an abnormal time. That is interesting. But there are many reasons they may have logged on out of hours. They could have just been simply checking their email if they couldn't sleep. A user logs on at an abnormal time, but then it is followed by an attempt to access a share they've never accessed, nor do they even have access. And then that is also followed on by a different user logging in from the same IP at an abnormal hour and starts accessing the share. This is something that conventional techniques would not detect, but with baselining and continuous unsupervised machine learning, UEBA can. So with LogPoint UEBA, the key is finding the unknown. With static rules, we know exactly what we are looking for, but we need to aim to reduce the mean time to respond. A famous use case everyone here knows. Using geolocation, how can I be logged on from Europe now and five minutes later logging on from Asia? This is not humanly feasible unless I am using a proxy service or any other service in that genre. In either case, that is suspicious behavior. Now, assuming that we weren't thinking of this case and we hadn't defined any rules in this, if we feed our log point UEBA module with this variable of identity, location, authorization, this would be clustered. And once, for example, the location had a drastic change, it becomes a detected anomaly. And that is what we're interested in knowing. UEBA is all about providing further value to the data that already coexists in your SIM, extending the use cases and value per se. We need to simplify the everyday lives of our hard pressed security analysts, make it easier, and provide them with a better overview of the data. And how do we do that with UEBA? We no longer need to focus on static rules. The self-learning and clustering of information gives good grounds for identifying anomalies. We look at our log points faster implementation for UEBA. The time to value is phenomenal. Our common taxonomy, which I would call unique to log point, is that all the data is already mapped and can be referenced. It works in the same way all of our plugins, including the UEBA module work. This means, we don't have to spend professional service time to map information before actively using the UEBA module. Some of our competitors may require 
a couple of months just to do this mapping before you can even start feeding the UEVA engine with usable information. We can do that from day one. And even better, if we can get historical logs, we can already do a baseline in clustering. So with that all said, what we will do now is we will jump into a demonstration of the LogPoint UEBA platform. So when we jump into the environment, what we're first presented with by the UEBA element is an overview of what is happening within the environment. We can see how many events have been analyzed, out of those events, how many anomalies have been found, and how many entities are they spread across. Now, one thing to note with UEBA, you are not only looking at the user activity, you're looking at the entity activity. So we can see we have users being analyzed, websites, servers, and shares. When we look further below, we also have an overall trend of what is the average risk score that we're seeing, and what use case is that coming under? If we want a bit more information on what the UEBA engine has detected, we can jump into the Explore tab. Within the Explore option, we have a filter at the top where we can simply select down on specific families, categories, shares, essentially making it much easier to understand what data is actually being analyzed, what information is available. We can filter straight to that. We can, of course, change the time frame that we're looking at. And then we have a bit of a time trend and a timeline of when the anomalies were found. We can, of course, see all of the extreme activities at the top. And anything that is seen as a low risk is, of course, in gray near the bottom. And, of course, we can filter all of this as we desire as well. If we just leave it at shows everything right now, what we can then start doing is looking at the other widgets that we have available. Now, the key behind UEBA is making the information that's relevant and interesting easily available to see by the human. And this is what we're seeing. We can instantaneously understand who are the top risky users. Maybe we want to know what service should, be we, should we be paying attention to. If we just jump back to the users, what we're going to start seeing is we've got that risk score. So we can see Joshua Newman with a risk score of 98. Now, something we do as LogPoint is we have a maximum risk score of 100, and we have a low of, of course, of zero, which is essentially no risk at all. Now, the reason behind this is making sure that we have limited to any modifications to any alert rules you have configured. And to give you that context, when we have a maximum of 100, you always know 98 is bad. If we were to continuously extend the risk score and it got to a risk score of 1500, all of a sudden, would you be interested in the risk of 98? You wouldn't be. You would have to modify all of your alert rules. You would have to modify any rules that are in the back end and alerts to change to that um, threshold. So we keep it at a at 100. As I mentioned, we can interact with all of these uh, widgets in here. So if we just select Joshua Newman, for example, all of a sudden we're presented with all of the anomalies that Joshua has, uh, that the UEBA engine has witnessed about Josh. So we can see some things that are maybe not seen as a high risk, but they may be seen as a low risk. That is something that we've noticed out of the ordinary that we think you should maybe know about, but it's not critical right now. Something that's very interesting about the LogPoint UEBA platform is we have over 500 models of detection working away and analyzing the data that it sees. Something that's incredibly intelligent about this is not only can the models understand the data and they can understand the context of the data, they can see the difference between one megabyte and 100 gigabyte. They understand that. They also can speak to each other. So if someone fails to log in a couple of times, it might see that as, well, that's not much. But if that just so happened to be linked to another model being triggered, such as a login from an undefined area that they've never logged in from before, that those two together are enough to make something that could be extremely risky. So when we take, for example, Joshua Newman has worked within an hour that he usually doesn't. This has been flagged up as extreme, but this could be because there have been other models that have been triggered 
in the build-up of this event. So we can see here as well, we've got that visual understanding of what this is telling us. We can see when he's logged in compared to when he usually would log in. And we'll take another one, for example. If we take how much data he sent using post, we can see that he sent 1.31 gigabyte. Now, the reason, once again, this is being marked as suspicious is comparing that to his usual, which is 821 kilobytes, that is a huge jump. If he'd maybe sent two megabytes, that wouldn't be something that we would be very alarmed by. But it's the significance in the jump to 1.3 that makes log.ueba think this is something that the analyst needs to know. And this is all done with minimal to no effort from the analyst. This data and this information is being brought to the analyst, ensuring he does not have to spend his time looking for nuances like this. And of course, once we want to investigate with this, we can jump further into explore raw events. So just to wrap up, what we see is Logpoint enables customers to control their costs, most importantly. This is because we based our license on our sim, as you may know, on a per node license. So essentially per log source you want to ingest from. But with UEBA, this is on a per entity. So once again, we're still providing that full transparency with no hidden surprises related to costs. With predefined content, we have over 400 vendor dashboards, for example, out of the box ready to use. This isn't just vendor specific dashboards, but also uh, compliance and regulation specific. So we have GDPR and we have PCI DSS dashboards, for example. Continuing on from this, the UEBA can be operational within one working day. This requires no tuning on the customer premise, thanks to the single taxonomy provided by LogPoint. The data mapping is already done. We can enable it and start the analytics right off the bat. And we typically see the average log point deployment being done in around five days. Thank you for your time. <laughs>